like The first normal. match is Shawn Michaels with Luna Vachon versus Tatanka uh, and Sensational Sherry. Yes. There's a point in this where they start, in the middle of a match, they start talking about, they allude to the fact there's a backstage fight going on at yeah. the medical centre with Luna Vachon and Sensational Sherry. Yeah. But they never cut to it. No. They talk about it repeatedly, but they never do anything with it. Is that cut for time? Did they just go home and forget? It's a strange one. Mm. It is strange. And they don't cut back to it, which makes you... I mean, you can say anything if you don't then cut to it. Yeah. You can say, God, you should have seen the match we've got going on over there. It's <laughs> okay. brilliant. It was, yeah, it's you know? like, it was incredible. Like, she threw her off a ten-storey building. <laughs> it's like, right, but, did she? And then she just began soaring back up. It was amazing. <laughs> Guys, you would have loved it. Okay, uh, let's see Tatanka. <laughs> uh, Tatanka gets to the stage, does a lot of, like, business. War cry. War crying. Um, at least he's Native American. Yes. That's, at least he's that's, actually Native American. That is the only reason, I think, that you can still view these online, <laughs> online. is that he was a genuine Native American. <laughs> At the time as well, he was hugely over. Hugely, hugely over. People really, really liked him. And it's one of those things right. that he just had a really unexceptional career mm. after this. But his first couple of years in WWF, he was huge. I think most people thought he would beat Shawn Michaels here. He just was a huge fan favourite. Mm. This is probably the best match in this WrestleMania. Yeah. It's also the first time that Shawn Michaels has the best match at WrestleMania. Mm. Not the last time he begins then racking them up. But it goes on a bit. It, it's okay. Oh. It's fine. I mean, uh, Randy Savage just, there's a point where he just says the line, he goes, Tatanka, doing the thing already! <laughs> and it's a little bit like that for me, which is just like, oh, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing already. Yeah. One more time, and down goes the champion! Bottom line, Tatanka's doing the thing, and uh, there he is again. He's all over the ring. Yeah, there's a bit where Shawn Michaels <laughs> goes to punch Sensational Sherry, and there's no reaction at all from the audience, as no. if they were like, this is the most normal thing in 1993. Well, there's only a couple of pops in this mm. uh, WrestleMania where the crowd goes absolutely insane. They are few and far between, aren't they? They really they are. are. Th there's a couple of things here which I don't <laughs> think would have been done if Vince McMahon was across this. Yeah. One of them is they debut Luna Vachon at this, and yes. there's been no mention of her before. Right. So she comes out, and there's no reaction, obviously. Yeah. People are like, what, what, what is this? Well, she's just like a woman with like veins drawn on her face. Yes. Yeah. The other thing is, this is really the first time that Sensational Sherry is supposed to be a good guy. She, yes. she's, had a, she's had a falling out with Shawn Michaels, gets mm. hit uh, accidentally in the face with a mirror. Yeah. Um, and sh they've had a falling out in, in storyline. But the crowd aren't aware of Across that. Across it, yeah. You forget that when you go and see these things live as well, it's much more difficult to understand it than when you've got the commentators explaining what's going on. Yeah. There's a lot of papering over the cracks with that sort of thing. And so the crowd aren't sort of Across certain it, what yeah. they're doing. That is also a funny thing there where they've gone, oh, here, let's develop this story. Well, it's not developed to the people in the arena because they don't know about it and they don't see it on the screens. Mm. But also, it's a funny thing at WrestleMania, to use WrestleMania. WrestleMania tends to be the capping off of storylines yeah. and then you start the week again. after again with the year. Yeah. And Sherry yeah. and Luna, who are at this point really the only two women think who would be capable of having a match in WWF. S Sherry sells a couple of moves in heels. I was like, that's pretty she, bold, I mean, the, the clothesline she takes at the end from Luna is the <laughs> best thing in WrestleMania. It's really good. <laughs> she does it great. Luna comes from a big wrestling family. She was a stepdaughter of Butcher Vachon, who along right. with with uh, Mad Dog Vachon, who was his brother, with these two huge 60s and 70s stars. Right. Okay. Um, if anything, really, nowadays, Mad Dog Vachon is remembered for an incident in a 1996 pay-per-view where Kevin Nash Diesel removed his prosthetic leg and began hitting Shawn Michaels with it. Um, <laughs> he'd lost it in 87 in a hit and run. Magnificent. And, uh, what is it? That, that's Maurice Vachon! What's he doing with, with those... What? He's trying... Oh, my... What is... Oh my god! Oh my! I got that! I can't believe that! Maurice Vachon, who suffered an accident, had his career terminated in an automobile accident, and Diesel! That's the lowest thing I've ever seen in my life! The best thing I like about him, he actually had a very brief run in the WWF right at the end of his career in the 80s. And he had an interview segment uh, that was only ever broadcast in French language territories. Right. And it was called Le Brunch a mad dog. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. He was also, a, a weird little historical <laughs> fact, he was the first wrestler to ever address the camera. So before oh, what, then... Oh, like kind of break the, break the fourth yep, wall? Yeah, before then wrestlers had always talked to the interviewer <laughs> and he was the first one to turn out and begin pointing down the lens. Wow. So he's, he's a great wrestler, Mad Dog Rishon. <laughs> um, Luna, she had a unique, uh, especially at the time, unique persona which was going, I'm out of control, I'm wild, I'm mad. She actually had bipolar and she was a manic depressive so oh, she tied God. in a lot of that 
that with her own life. Right. But she said, if I didn't have that, I would never have become the star I was. She was talking about how, she said, I was in Playboy because I was a weirdo, and I was in Hustler because I was a nutcase. And she saw this unique sort of wrestling thing she had of being this wild and untamable woman mm. as being quite an asset. She also did backup vocals for a band called Nasty Savage, <laughs> and she was featured in a load of music magazines as well. She was, in 1994, the first woman to ever appear in a WWF computer game. Ah. Uh, she was in WWE Raw, oh, the fantastic. video game. Yeah, well, so she's a little bit of a pioneer. Yeah. Um, like Sherry, she also died very young of a, an accidental overdose. Um, right. Oxycodone and benzodiazepine. Then benzos, they are difficult. Sad, isn't it? She it was also very, very, very good friends with Andre the Giant. Oh. And she'd known him ever since he was, she was a kid. He'd taken her once to Paris when she was 12 years old. I don't know if it's, it's an odd story. Uh, anyway, we've reached the end of the story. <laughs> um, I wow. think I think it was very much a an uncle taking his young niece to a foreign country. Gigantic Papa and Tiny Nicole. <laughs> C'est la grand papa. Uh, she, uh, her ashes were scattered at the ranch that he used to own in North Carolina after her death. Okay. So it sounds so like it she sounds certainly fine. didn't have any issues with him. No. And Andre remains a saint and a massive angel. <laughs> Big, massive angel. Uh Mark. Mark. Hey, there's Lewis Capaldi. I could have seen him at home. Lewis Capaldi is playing at WrestleMania. <laughs> Mark's on the wrestle boss. Wrestle. Yeah, it's quite late, isn't it? We're it's tired. It's quite late. It's long, yeah. long flight. We're having a coffee. Yeah, we got to get we got to get a bus to the taxi, taxi to the hire car. I don't know how many people who design American airports listen to the show. But there's any. Do it, do it better. You've got to do it better. When we're in Heathrow, we got invited to go into a room to record a podcast. We got we can't record a podcast here. We're not given a tiny pie. Here, yeah. I'll get a bus. Oh, little, little, little packet of the Japanese sweet haichu on the floor. Oh, somebody, somebody knew you were coming. Somebody straight off the NA, NA from Tokyo, <laughs> Haneda. Unusual for Japanese people's letter. <laughs> Would be a trick. It's the WrestleMania! Why have you got that? Woo! Because I'm a paparazzo! Yeah!